This is the real Playa del Carmen. This is the side of the Playa del Carmen. They don't show you in travel vlogs, but on ours you find them. If yeah. you have big boobs, they'll give it to you for free. Is it for you guys or is it for me? I don't know. What is that? Yo, what is that? Buenos dias, guys. Welcome to our second home. My favorite place. Playa del Carmen. Natalie's been wanting to come here since we first lived here in 2021. We were here for about three months and Natalie's been just like non-stop let's go to Playa del Carmen let's go to Playa del Carmen itching to, itching, itching to get those tacos at El Fogon which will show you how good they are later everything that needs to be shown in Playa del Carmen we'll show you we'll show you all the good stuff since we've lived here we know what that is at least I think we know what that is but honestly things have changed we since 2021 it has gotten a lot more developed here there are way more condos way more places everywhere so it's gotten definitely more touristic. The prices have gone up, to be honest with you. Here in Playa del Carmen, there's also... Oh, you want to check out the store? No, it's massive. I've never seen it before. We were told that some of these stores are government subsidized. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about is uh, the taxi services here in, in Playa del Carmen. There's no Uber. We've been told... The cartel's running. That's why there isn't able to be Ubers here. We're on 5th now. This area is kind of just like a hanging out area, kind of like a town square sort of thing. Every night they do, I don't know what the actual ritual is called, but it's just like four guys, they're hanging off this pole and they're swinging from a rope. It's Pretty like cool. circus stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or acrobatics or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, here it is. Beautiful Playa del Carmen. And the pole they swing from is actually up there. And people do play beach volleyball here. There's a big like community and a lot of them are actually from Toronto, funny enough. And they're all playing beach. I'm not very good at volleyball, so I'm not really included. <laughs> I'm discluded. But Natalie is good at volleyball, so she could keep up. Thanks. My sister too. She's actually here with us as well. She's a big volleyball person. Look at the gecko. I actually love geckos. They're so cute. Yeah, they are cute, right? Anyway, we'll leave him alone. But uh, let's continue walking around. Let's show you how it looks here in touristic Playa del Carmen. And the water looks beautiful today. The beach looks so much beautiful. That's what I remember. The beautiful white Caribbean sand. We were just in the Pacific side of El Salvador, on the Pacific and El Salvador, and the sand is all black. The water looks beautiful, and it's calm. It's not choppy today at all. You have like the bright turquoise, and then the dark blue looks cool. We got some beach soccer going on here, and then of course the beach volleyball. It's so bright today. Then you got the beautiful water. We're gonna go down here. We have a friend, he does scuba diving. So we're gonna try to get some scuba diving with him. He's called Mayan Dive. His name is Andrea. Yeah, I think that's him there. We just confirmed for tomorrow, we're gonna go shark diving. That will be fun. That will be my first time. Yeah, unfortunately, they only have two spots. So my sister's gonna get burned on this one. We, we There was on Thursday they had for three, but then she asked the captain, he's like, I don't have until the new year. So the so rest of this week. If you come during like Christmas and New Year's time, very busy, so try yeah. and book at least like a week in advance. Yeah, and honestly, we just walked up. We did everything like we always do last minute. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, it works out for us. Yeah, yeah. Here we're now more deep in the Fifth Avenue. So this is what to expect, the busyness of it around this time. It's also December 26th, so this is like a high, high, high season. This is as, as peak as it gets here, I would say. Hola. Hola. Bienvenido, pasale. No, no, gracias. You want Mexican Got it. And you know what? They're not as, uh, they used to be more aggressive here with, with bugging you to buy stuff. It's not that bad as it used to be, to be, in my opinion. What do you think? Honestly, I don't really have an opinion on it. I've been, mm. I've traveled so many places. To me, it's just like, I just walk past. You know? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, they offer men more stuff. So like, when it comes to drugs, they'll always offer to dudes, never to women. Yeah, I've never had that encounter. Here's a restaurant. I feel like more locals go there. Because when our Spanish teacher, her name is Grecia, she brought us here when we were living here in 2021 and it was a lot cheaper than all these surrounding bars and by the way up there is a nightclub called santino they play house music so if you're into that kind of thing and there's an entrance there they do charge a cover i don't remember what it was at that time i'm sure it's gone up since then and look atm bitcoin 
it's not just El Salvador where there's good wine. Up here is also a club. What is it called? Clandestino. I've never been there to be honest. For all those months we lived here, honestly, we don't go out that much. We usually just loafed at home in the evening. Because <laughs> we do too much during the daytime. We always do way too much and then we're exhausted. And then we want to get up early like we are tomorrow for scuba diving. I find more value in that for me. And here is a bar, used to be a bar called Tequila Barrel. If you guys have been to Playa del Carmen, this was once a popular spot. It's closed down now. When we were here last, there, the door was kicked down. Now I wonder what happened. Maybe some illicit activities. And now they have it covered with no hoarding plywood. So who knows what was going on there, but the door was kicked in. Tequila guy, shot. Yeah, they're always offering shots. If yeah. you have big boobs, they'll give it to you for free. But they give it to everyone for free as a sample, so you buy more. And this is the nightclub district. Few nightclubs down here. It really is loud at night. It's really kind of pumping and lively at night. So here too. I feel like this is more pumping. pumping. I like saying pumping. What do you say? I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. It's uh, lively, would you say? Is that a word? Yeah, it is. Or how do, what do people, I think people say lit. That's a thing, right? Let us know in the comments what oh you guys God. say in your country. <laughs> Can you tell we're millennials and not Gen Z? Yeah, we're millennials. We don't know. I don't go out anymore, so I don't really know, to be honest with you. I think millennials say lit, too. Lit? I think they do. In Canada, we used to do pre-drinks before we go out. But I know people in the States say pre-game. Pre-gaming, I think. So oh, tell us, let call. us know. Want to try it out? Natalie was uh, one of the nights we walked down fifth at least four times and Natalie checked out at least 150 stores. Ugh, waste of time. <laughs> and I was drinking the whole time on the street. <laughs> and Natalie was just checking out places the whole time. That was fun. It was a good night for me at least. I got to drink a lot of beers that night because that's all I had to do. Oh look, a baby tiger. Here's the wax museum. This actually wasn't here before when we were when we were in 2021. Actually, you know what? I think it might have been. Are you sure? I don't remember. Not entirely, no. I don't remember it being here. I think it was new. I think I was just surprised somewhere that there was a wax museum of a person, and I think it was here. I don't know. I don't remember it being here. Let us know if you guys know. Uh, also, another thing to know, here in Playa del Carmen, it's a big expat community, and there's a lot of Argentinians here, like a lot. What do they call it, the Argentinians? They're like, oh, it's a colony. They were like, we're a colony of Argentinians here. I thought that was funny. And here, in my opinion, is the best establishment in all of Playa del Carmen. Bar Loco. 30 peso shots. Before they were 20. Then margaritas for 30 pesos and food items for 30 pesos. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we just want to show you how it looks all the way down 5th. And then we have some food reviews later tonight. El Fogon. And we're going to get I'm some soup. I'm so excited. You guys will love El Fogon. It's tremendous. The best. The best. That is an acacao. It's like the, I would say the Starbucks of Mexico. There are other ones too, like not just in this area. When we were here in 2021, we did travel to Mexico City, Guadalajara, even Puerto Vallarta, and they, we did see them there as well. So they still do have Starbucks here, don't forget that. Of course they do. And now we're gonna show you the stadium. There's a calisthenics park, there's a couple of tennis courts, and there's a big track, and it's actually for the local football team. So we'll see how it looks. It's on 30th and 10th. A beautiful stadium and you can work out for free. They do have a gym in there. We'll show you that too. Now you do have to pay entry for and for the tennis courts. They actually have tennis court, tennis rackets available for rent if you didn't bring yours with you. So here is the actual stadium. So they did improve it in 2021. Basketball courts here. They do yoga and they do like dancing lessons. Yeah, dancing classes, yoga, salsa, which okay. is dancing, but yeah. This is a information where you could rent rackets and actually reserve the tennis courts. Here are the tennis courts. They're pretty nice. Playing in this heat would be tremendous. <laughs> Not for a lot of people, Natalie. <laughs> Natalie needs the heat lamp. She always is cold. All right, let's go check out the calisthenics park. Here's the calisthenics park. Free entry, which is great. Pull up bars, dip bars. They really have improved it. They painted it. You have these even to climb up. Rings, really everything. And here is the track. I'm not much of a runner, but when we were living here, I would do runs 
I do Not like, really. I'd run. He ran once with me and he calls himself a runner. No, no, no. I, I ran every time after working out almost 400 meters, but then that was it. Wanna I don't go, believe that. Want to go check out the gym? Is this gym good? You can go to Evolve, which is better, and it's a little bit more money. Maybe buy like 300 pesos, but it's better. Per month, okay. And the hours are all day versus this one's only morning and evening. Oh, they're See, closed. It's closed. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is December 26th. Yeah, it's locked. Oh, this is what you can see. So you can see here. This is the stadium. If you want to play tennis, work out, go for a run. Play catch. Play catch when you're on holiday. This is something to see. And over there, those loft hotels, that's a brand new condo. When we were here, when we were living here, they were building it and yeah. now it's like a full out shopping center. There's a There's grocery a huge store. There's a grocery store and it's like a mall. It's yeah. pretty cool. Honestly, it's gotten way more developed here since we've last been here. Things have changed. Things honestly have changed. And there are more tourists. A lot of expats come here and live. A lot of people will live yeah. and work here, you know, work online, live here. That's what we were doing in 2021. A big advantage of it here is there's Eastern Standard Time in the winter. So it's the same as, you know, New York or Toronto or Montreal or wherever. Uh, they're able to live in the same time zone and be here in paradise. It is paradise. It is paradise. Honestly, for living, it's, it's perfect here. Yeah, for living, like if you're looking to be in a beach town or a and beach city, with all the amenities, you have gyms, you have tennis courts, you have many different grocery stores. There's like so much selection on that end. Well, hundreds of restaurants. There's so much to do here that you could live here for a year and you'll still not see everything and do everything. And this is Natalie's real home. Yes. You could see the delight in her eyes. She thinks about Plyano Carbon. I feel she's very just relaxed. she's just at peace. She's just completely at peace while she's here. As am I. And by the way, if you guys don't know me and Natalie's story, we met in January 1st, 2021 in Tulum. So that's also why. Also my favorite place ever. Yeah. For I'm, living, Playa is better. Yeah, for living, Playa for, is better. For I think just traveling, like Tulum is better in my opinion. Mm. I love Tulum. Yeah, I know, I get it. The beaches are nice. The beach, the public beach there is, oh, to die for. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Tremendous. It's tremendous. This beach is actually, they cleaned it up a lot. It's really, really nice. Yeah. Um, but Tulum is even nicer, if that's possible. But I don't know, just the vibes in Tulum. I think if you go, you'll understand what I mean. For traveling, Tulum's better, but for living, Playa, hands down. Yeah. Way better. I agree. Any they're ex building it up a lot in Tulum though. Yeah. They're building an international airport in Tulum now as well. And here is this big hotel, grocery store, mall, everything in one. Wow. You know, I have a running joke with Natalie. This is plagiarism from a comedian that I heard many years ago. What was his name? Guys, let me know in the comments. But his, his joke was, an escalator can never break. They're either an escalator or they're just stairs. I always thought that was a funny joke. The way he delivered it was funny. Maybe the way he delivered it. There, there's funny. another joke that the same guy has. I know some of you will know who this comedian is. He was hilarious. He had long hair. He was kind of like a hippie type of guy. These are just condos. And um, yeah, another joke he said, you know who the best tennis player is? Me. Your wall. You're never going to beat the wall of tennis. <laughs> well, anyway. This is how the lofts look. So I think it's uh, apartments and ho a hotel type of thing. Probably retired folks will come here and they'll just be here for the summer, or sorry, the winter. I think it's a hotel too? I think so. That's it. Now it's hot and it's nice, so it's nice to have that difference. Yeah. Where El Panadon or El Tunco, it was just hot. It's just hot the All whole the time. time. Oh, watch the dog. When we first got here, it was actually, it wasn't very hot and it was cloudy. There are still some clouds in the sky, but it's a hot day and the sun is pounding. So it's nice. Natalie loves it. In the evening time here, it does cool down a lot. So it's not like El Tunco in El Salvador or El Peredon in Guatemala, where it's just like 35 the whole time and you're just absolutely drenched in sweat. Me and my area down below, I always have a quarter cup of water there, as I say. I'm just sweating all the time. I don't get that so much here because the breeze. That's nasty. <laughs> this is the more quieter side of Playa del Carmen on 5th. 
it's more chill. When we first stayed here the first few days, we were staying a bit further this way. You can see it's just lots of people, less crazy. And the real estate really has blown up here to be, even since when I started coming here in 2021, you would see advertisements in Tulum, like billboards, condos starting at 75,000 USD. And now it's probably like 150, it's doubled in just a few years. Just so many people found out about it since like I started coming here. More and more people that I knew they were coming here and people were, people even I know were living here and we're in the bike line. Shouldn't be here because I'm a cyclist myself. I don't like it. There's not that many cyclists here. Is there always time for coffee, Robert? For you, yes. There's been times often where Robert would be trapped that we had to go stop and get me a coffee. But like that sign said, there's always time for coffee. She's right. Honestly, I love coffee. I get anxiety from it. I wish I didn't, because I would drink it every single day. I get jittery and stuff. We're getting closer to the further beach, which in my opinion is nicer. I agree. It's not as crowded and it's just more like relaxed hill vibes. And there's, as you can see, buildings like this still being built here. So eventually it'll be built up more like all the way down that way. But right now here it's more quiet. There are some locals that live on this end of Playa. I would say there's even- Lots of expats there's, down There's more here. expats here. Yeah, but there are some locals that do live down here. I yeah, saw that's, few. no, for sure. But they are building it up. It's definitely the quieter side of Playa del Carmen. So if you want busy, if you want touristy, stay closer to between 1 and like 25 on 5th Ave or 1 and, even, even 1 and 40 probably. Even like near the airport, yeah. there, there is a local airport here. So if you want to stay near there or if you have lots of dough, you can go to Playa Car. I'm sure there are Airbnb's. Playa Car is nice too, yeah. Beautiful houses, like so mansions, nice. huge. So nice. It's a gated community, yeah. very beautiful. We will um, show you that too. From oh. what I remember, you did have to give a driver's license, mm. but I could be wrong. It could have changed. I don't know. We'll see. This is the quieter, more peaceful side of Playa del Carmen. I like it here better. I feel like I could breathe here more. Do you feel that way? Can you breathe? In through the nose. Out through the mouth. So we're gonna go to Peace and Bowl now, or what's it called? Bajo Cafe. This is their second location. Here's the place, Bajo Cafe. Here is Peace and or Bajo Cafe too. They opened apparently four months ago. This one's more relaxed, more chill vibes. No one's working here, so you don't have stress in the air. Yeah. Natalie has her cappuccino. It's full to the brim now. Got it with coconut milk. Let's too. see the carrot review, carrot juice review. I love carrot juice. Is, so it, much. is it worth it? Yeah, hundred percent. Now time for my orange juice. Let's try it out. That's good. That's really good. Like freshly squeezed. But I do think the carrot juice is better. May I try? Oh, wow. That's so good. Mm, beautiful. Okay, Natalie's first taste test. How is it? Oh, that's so good. That's even better <laughs> with the coconut milk. You guys want to see? Some ham, eggs, cheese, lettuce, tomato, green onion. Or actually, red onion, sorry. Mmm, that's good. Robert approves. A bagel, salad, orange juice, carrot juice, coffee, another bagel, same salad. The last time we bought this, this came out to like, um, with tip, but we got a bigger salad. It came out to $45 Canadian. So this will probably be like 35 potentially. That was a total of 35 Canadian dollars with tip. So let us know for all of that we got there, how much that would cost in your country. Cause I know in Canada, that would probably be double. But anyway, now we're at Playa 72. We've been here many times. This is more of the kind of beach for locals or kind of expats who know, a little, know it a little bit better around here. So this is the entrance. They really did improve it since we got here, remember? Yeah, like, remember yeah. the entrance oh, yeah. before? There was no entrance. Walking path here. Let's see how it looks on the beach. It's a beautiful day today. Beautiful, sunny, bluebird. Textbook bluebird day. Actually not, there, oh, yeah. are some, there are some clouds, but I still consider it a bluebird day. It's a beautiful day today. What do you think these fences are for, Not? I have no idea. Are they for alligators? No. We don't know. We know in Cosimo there are alligators there. We saw them when we were there in 2021. For people who have been here before or you're considering coming here, this is about, I would say, like a 20 minute walk from the main portion 
of Fifth Avenue. So it is a bit of a longer walk, but if you're looking for kind of a more peaceful, tranquil beach, I would say this is definitely the one to check out. And they have improved the beaches here. There's a lot of seaweed before everywhere, just like huge clumps of seaweed all along the, co the coastline, and they've cleaned it up. Let's see the entrance to the beach here. Beautiful day today. They're on Beach 72 in Playa del Carmen. Let's check that out. On the beautiful Caribbean sand. There's some volleyball people here. Maybe they're from Toronto. I'm not sure about this group. Want to check out the water? It's nice. Beautiful. Just go in there right away. Don't even check it. Don't even check it. Just go ahead. Just go with the water. That's good advice. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Is this too chilly for you? Because it's a hot day today. It's really hot today. And you can see the coastline here. And actually there's two buildings there. Those are, I think, I swear those were under construction last time we came here. Beautiful Beach 72, Playa 72. Let's go for a quick dip. Honestly, I'm not gonna bring the camera under the water. I don't feel like taking off the sponge, but let's go for a little swim. Will Natalie go in the water, full body? Yeah. Don't waste time, remember? We can't waste any time. We got to go in the water, like you said. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Did you see any fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. How long are you here for? Till Saturday. Oh, till Saturday. Okay. okay. Not too bad. We came yesterday. Oh, okay. okay. So what, one week, one week ish, no. or even less. less. Yeah, no, yeah. Five days. Five days, okay. Uh, we oh. have two little babies, and my mom was like, I can watch them for like two, three days. I That's was it. Like, two, three days? Okay. So <laughs> there we go. Just, we're leaving. As soon as I booked the thing, I was like, Mom, sorry, it's a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. funny. So, how did I swim? Heading to rent the bikes now and go into, into the city. So Natalie refuses to put on shoes because she still wants the ground, but she's stepping on rocks. Nature's pedicure. Our cut feet nature's pedicure. <laughs> it's just making me a tougher person. Me, I'm, an, I'm a little bitch with shoes. I always wear them. Let's try these bikes out. I think you need your phone. You gotta scan it. Bikes secured. Robert's a little excited. We're gonna bike around outside of the touristy area now because we wanna show you what it's like outside of, you know, where all the tourists go. Let's go, vamos. This is the bike. Let's show you the streets of Playa del Carmen. Natalie, where are we going? No idea. No idea. Me neither. Let's see where these bikes will take us. So we're gonna probably go past the bridge here under the highway. But there's also a big mall that we want to show you. The last time we were here in 2021, we did go there, so that was fun. For me personally, I like going out of the touristic areas and seeing actually how it is for the local people, how it is on the ground, how the people are. Usually, they're much nicer than you think they'll actually be. Let's be careful of the speed bump. My water bottle almost came out of the thing there. <laughs> Those speed bumps are always kind of sketchy. Are you talking to me? Yeah. In Tulum, when we were there, we actually rented like a motorbike, a scooter. But this time, honestly, I want to rent a bicycle. With the scooter, you can't really, you know, you're not going to drink alcohol and drive a motorbike. A lot of people do. Uh, I don't do that. So with a bicycle, I can though. At least I think so. Oh, speed bump. This is what I'm working with here. I'm also pretty tall. I'm not getting the full extension with my knees. I think we're approaching that mall. When we were here before, people play like indoor, like court volleyball, they play it outdoor. So maybe we could run into another volleyball game like we did those two years ago when we were here. We've decided to switch directions. There's a bike path here. That's where we're gonna go. Are you excited? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, vamos. It takes a moment to get some speed on this thing. This is actually a really nice bike path. Oh, huh? what do you think? It's nice. This is good. It's nice and peaceful on the street. Not much traffic. Natalie's far behind, as usual. It's a big road. Three lanes each side. Not bad. No traffic. Toronto could learn a thing or two from here. Having more lanes instead of one. Oh, please go ahead. My brother, cyclist. If I were to live here full time, I'm a cyclist. By the way, if you didn't know that yet, I would bike here. This is great. Ooh, try to go no hands. I'm not used to this bike. Check it out, guys. We found a carnival. Somebody left some pops. 
No bueno to leave garbage on the street. Clean it up. I don't mind if you drink beer. I know you guys know that I partake in a few occasionally, but come on, throw it in the garbage. Oh, there's a fridge, nice. So as you can see, it's not developed absolutely everywhere here, but a lot of it is developed for sure. Why is this closed? What's going on here? How are we gonna get out? Move the fence. Struggle city. How are you gonna get out of here of this one? Oh, that wasn't too bad. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, let's try not to get hit by a car here and make our way. Oh, let's go here. This reminds me of where we were before. Go through that little hole. All right, I got it too. This is the real Playa del Carmen. This is the side of the Playa del Carmen. They don't show you in travel vlogs, but on ours you find them. And a lot of people in Latin America have dogs. They have like guard dogs for their houses. So sometimes abruptly, you'll just have some big pit bull barking at you, which is always fun. Big buildings here. I'm gonna boxing gym up here. Cool. That looks pretty good too. Building a new house there. But yeah, there's a lot of this is untouched still. There's still more development to be had, to be made, to be built. Eventually, there's probably gonna be houses everywhere here at some point. But yeah, barbed wire, normal in Latin America. If you've watched our other videos in Guatemala and El Salvador, here it's not that much different. There is more money here, obviously, than Guatemala or El Salvador. It's just a bigger country, a bigger population, bigger economy, more tourism. So all of that factors in, of course. But yeah, you do see garbage here, which is shitty. And then there's like nice big houses. Like you'll see a lot with just garbage in it. And then beside it, you'll see a big, beautiful house that's fenced off. Doggy, he's chasing us. They're barking at us, chasing us off the street. They're not being very nice. I don't like it. I felt like the El Salvadorian dogs were nicer. All right, now we're biking in oncoming traffic, which might not might not be a good idea. This dog doesn't seem too mean. He didn't even bark at us once. Hey, buddy, you've been nice to us. We'll remember you. But we already have done 26 minutes on this bike, and it gives you 45 minutes. So we're thinking we'll swap each other's bikes since we're different bikes. Hopefully it won't know that we're together because it does know the locations of the bikes, but I don't think it will be able to connect the two. So I think we should be fine. Like Natalie always says, there's no point of worrying and things you can't control. I'm starting to adopt that more and more. Guys, Natalie wants to bike and hold the camera at the same time. Let's see if I can hand off the baton to her. I need this in my right hand though. My left hand is pretty much useless. Yo, this guy has more balls than me. He crossed the road without looking and then there's me slowing down and looking and he's just, oh, there's a speed bump. <laughs> Got it. He just gunned it. Okay, I'm gonna try and switch my hands. Who can bike no hands? Hang on. They see me rolling. They hate. <laughs> Robert likes to bike side by side and not pay attention to cars around him. Whereas I, on the other hand, am a little more cautious. I like to be careful of where I'm biking and if potential cars will hit me or not. Ba -ba -ba. There's a dog. A little look-see around the neighborhoods of Playa del Carmen. Any cars coming? That's a real trust. Gonna catch up to Robert. These ones I'm okay with see behind they're like gradual they're not so oh, aggressive oh we found we found the park no I think this is it or we're we getting closer this is one of them it was one where there was a tournament with a school going yeah, on yeah, yeah. You so you can play volleyball ball. here there's the court there or you can play basketball we'll Let's show you play a car because they, they get the general gist it's really nice there hola buenas tardes oh that guy was nice car coming I need both hands yo these guys are probably laughing at me I just struggled so hard to get on the bike there and go through this little cute thing I don't know if you got any of that there was three guys that were just waving saying hola amiga I was like hola buenas tardes and then I had a hard time getting my bike going Okay. I gotta focus here so I don't hurt myself. You know what? I might just give the camera back to Robert. Aha! Hola. She wasn't friendly. She didn't even say hi to me. Right, let's see what I can do here. What I can navigate. Our time has gone up, or like it's ended. 
we tried to switch the bikes, but it wouldn't let us park because it was in a designated area. We got to go more back to civilization, or rather their geographical location where we could park this bike and then we'll switch. This is interesting. Little markets here. I think this is like the Collectivo station. Let's make a right here. We're starting to get more into the centro, more into the Pueblo, or other town, Ciudad. We're approaching Playa Car. I'm just going in the general direction, which I know it is, but not really following a trail or anything. Just looking around, seeing what's around here, you know? Donde? Derecha. Y izquierda aquí. Soy fluido en español. Siempre. Parking up the bike and switching to a new one. Remember, when you ride these bikes, only do 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Don't do anything over, because you'll get charged an extra 30 pesos, like me and Natalie did over here. Let's go check out Playa Car now. This is like a very wealthy neighborhood in the area. Very beautiful, huge houses, like big mansions right on the ocean. Tremendous, tremendous area. We're actually passing by where we're staying. This is the Airbnb or condo building we're staying at. Pretty nice. We'll show you that soon enough. It was more expensive than our other place, but a nice place with a beautiful rooftop pool, nice view, and it's a pretty good location. It's right in the thick of it. It's on 15th and 1st. There is actually a local airport. It's not far from there. But guys, first, which I haven't done yet, and we're in Mexico, I gotta go do a beer review. Is it for you guys or is it for me? I don't know. Robert always likes to take minimum 45 minutes to pick a beer. So we're still waiting for him. Maybe I should keep this running so that I can yeah, I see how much time he actually takes. So far, three minutes and five seconds. I didn't just think about myself. I got Aww. Natalie a big soda water. Thanks, that's actually see, nice. See, I'm not so bad after all. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Makes that's, it that's three genuine. minutes and 33 seconds that it took you that, somewhat. That, that was genuine, it. genuine joy, but hold on. I gotta show the people what I'm drinking here. Modelo, good Mexican beer. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Out Vit of 10. Vitamin B, vitamin Modelo. Maybe we could even just go that way. Very nice gated off community here. And we were looking at some of the real estate prices. Not that we have enough to buy here. But <laughs> They, they want- We like to go unit watching. We like to unit watch. It's our favorite thing to do. And houses here, there is like some houses right on the beach for like 3 million. USD, it's like three and a half Canadian or more. But it is very nice here. Like look yeah, at this, look at this beautiful house. Or look at, check out this house, beautiful. It's like a sanctuary here. And you have these be this beautiful like this huge tree. tree. This is amazing. Oh, check out this house. Wow. Okay, are we doing an MTV Cribs? Could we knock on their door and be like the TikTok guy? What do you do for a living? Let's do it. <laughs> That's such a nice house. And these, even these apartments are beautiful. I love this. I love this old style, this architecture. It's nice. What is that? Yo, what is that? Oh my gosh. What the hell is that thing? It looks like a big rat. What the? I've never seen anything like that. Me either. Oh, there's another one there. There's another one there. Guys, tell us what that is. I actually have no idea. But check out these beautiful tennis courts. Not, I would play tennis here. When you have money, you can get nice things. That's for sure. Guys, tell me what these things are. I don't want to scare it. You know, we lived here for three months. Never saw. And I never saw one of these. Check out this court, guys. Oh, they play pickleball. Oh. I Hey, pickleball. And it's only in English. No Spanish. But look, there's a ruin, Mayan ruin here, Mayan ruin here. This is a beautiful area. I, I always loved it here. Look how they run. So strange. We always look at this house and we always want to know if it's a hotel. I don't know if this is a hotel or someone's house or like an Airbnb. Casa Nube Blanca. As they say in Peru, vamos a cagarlas. We, by the way, guys, we usually do unit watching. We do it driving. But today we don't have a car or bicycles. So we're unit watching on foot. I like it better on a moving vehicle. The aspect of slowing down is somewhat exciting. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. Okay, gracias. <laughs> I love this style, the Hacienda style. This area is amazing. These are so mint, the ones that back onto the beach. And we got the beautiful Caribbean sand. Nothing compares to the white sand, it's so mint. That's beautiful, wow. Right on the beach. 
beautiful evening today. The sun is setting. Can't really see it from here, but it's nice. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but there are some resorts down this way as well. It's not just private homes. Like, check out this place. Beautiful, wow. Modern look, there's a pool. Amazing. Or even this place, beautiful. Look how clear this water is here. We just walked past a mint crib. Check it out. I would totally live there. And there's also another beautiful modern house right next to it. It's not as massive, but still so epic. Right there. I love walking along this beach. There's so many nice houses here. Imagine just chilling on that hammock. I guess you can fish here too. Look at these guys. This beach is tremendous. I think it's better than the other side. Like on 72? Yeah, I take it back. Yeah, I think it is nicer actually here. It's a big bird. Oh, I guess he fed them. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's probably the coolest thing I've seen all day. I just love nature. Here's one of the resorts. I guess for resort standards, it's not too big, but it's beautiful to me. I think it is a sandbar over there, if you guys could see. Check out this beautiful place. Wow, the modern style. With the pool here. I wouldn't even go in the pool. Maybe I'll, uh, I'd go in the ocean. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow, check out the sand. And it's very chill here. It's gotten darker, so we're gonna have to head back soon. It's so calm here. So nice here. There you can see the beautiful moon. It's a full moon tonight, amazing. Now, we're gonna show you some local food. I think you guys will like it. This is cool. Check out this Christmas market. They're serving some maracuesitas there. What is a maracuesita, what is that? It's like a crepe, honestly. It's a, that you they... pick whatever base you want, like Nutella, for example, then you add fruits in it. Uh -huh. Then they fold it up into like churro style almost okay. not that small but they fold it okay and then put more food on top okay but the crepe is crispy it's not soft it's mm. like crispy so i think it's a thinner layer we're heading to a restaurant now we're gonna go get some soup and some tacos so i'll show you how it looks more of a local experience more local food so this is our favorite soup spot so good so love good. it we might not have space yeah we're gonna have to wait for a bit that's okay it's worth the wait natalie's taking the only chair available she left me and my sister out to dry. You snooze, you lose. Exactly. You'll love this place. And then after this, we're gonna show you just down the street. It's called El Fogon. Here are the hours. I had to go make a quick pit stop. I wanna get a quick little pop before we get the meal. And I usually don't buy beer with my meal because I'm cheap. I'd rather pay at the grocery store than buy at the restaurant. So you gotta be economical and still have fun. I'm an idiot. The guy said uh, 15, which means 15. I thought he said 50. I always always mix up those two because I'm a moron. He's like 15. I'm like 15. I'm like no. But 15 is cheap. That's cheap. But this is superior. It's a bit of a cheaper beer. Well, let's try it out. Let's uh, show you guys what it tastes like. It's not bad. It's not bad. I don't know. I like Mexican beer. I like this area. I'm very biased, so it might be that. But I'm just like very fond of this area, and I like the beer here. All right, let's go try that soup soon enough. My sister is smarter than me. She brought a travel beer in her purse. So we finally sat down. Here is the prices. Chicken soup for 100 K or, uh, pesos. I was going to say Kate's Alls, like in Guatemala, but they have pesos here. And then a tostada, 35. And that the sandia. You got to get the sandia. And sandia. the sandia, of course. The watermelon mixed juice. So this is more of a local restaurant. You got to notice if it's less white people, then you know you're going to a good place. <laughs> less tourists. Less tourists. More locals. You're in the good spot. Exactly. And you don't have to worry. I've gotten food poisoning both in El Salvador and in Guatemala. In Mexico, you don't have to worry, to be honest. We lived here for four months, not even once. We got our watermelon juice, our sandia, out of 10. Oh, easy 15. Easy 15. So good. Uh, do you approve? Very good. I don't even know the name of this place no. and we've been coming here. We'll find out the name and I'll put it in the subtitles, don't worry, and the description. Say that again now. I said she's got a pair of lungs on her. <laughs> Like Natalie says, she has a pair of lungs on her. Soups have come. 
it's so good. I get joy just watching you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. This is soul food, I guess you could call it. Uh, so now Robert's touch. The rest of the onion? No, I'm kidding. No, no, save some for the rest of us. Cilantro. Then a little bit of uh, hot pepper here. Not too much. And now, I like adding the sauce on. Just oh, a what's bit. the sauce like? It's a bit spicy, but I like putting it Okay, I need to know what that is. Tienes sal y pepino? That's a diss like to salsa. people's cooking. I like, a, I like salsa. And look. I like it crunched up in there. And here, a little bit of salt. I know I'm dissing you guys, but I like salt. This is so good. Look at that beautiful spoonful. Oh, and the broth from the bone, uncomparable. I like the song she's singing. But anyway, guys, less vlogging, more eating. We're gonna show you the empanadas and the tostadas soon enough. Guys, I'm sorry. I saw the empanadas and the tostadas and I got so excited I forgot to film completely. It's smashed, it's gone. I'm sorry, but I forgot. I got so excited, the food was so good. I just ate it without even thinking of recording. The empanadas here are amazing too. Cheese, chicken, they put lettuce, they put cream on top of it. Tremendous. We're gonna show you all Fogon now. Me and Natalie are gonna soldier on and get two uh, El Pastor tacos. I don't know if I could eat that much more. I'm pretty full. We're gonna show you the bill though for three people. The total. And then we wanna hear how much you pay in your country for something like this. Three soups, two empanadas, and two tostadas. And three watermelon drinks. Large ones. The chicken here tastes different. Chicken in Canada, it's all antibiotics. And like this, you could actually taste the difference of the chicken. So this is the total of the bill. 300 for the soups, 50 for two empanadas, and 76 for two tostadas, and then 210 for the three drinks. Total for three people, 636. That's without tip though. So that's $49.61 Canadian. So tell us what, how much that would cost in your country. Definitely would be more expensive if you're from North America or Europe. That's one person down. My sister had to TKO and tap out. She couldn't handle any more food. There's always a line here. Place is really good. The classic El Pastor over here. That form with the pineapple as you just flicks it off and it'll land a foot away from them. Good form. This is the menu. This is what you need to get. Pastor tacos for 23 pesos. And the nachos. The Spanish menu says nachos normales. Looks like that. So good. But since we already ate one meal today, we're only gonna have some tacos because they're just too good to pass up here. It looks like we came at a good time too because the line, I don't know if you can see, but it's getting so much longer. But we were here back in 2021 and this place used to be tiny. It was just up until the end of this post. Now they've renovated the whole thing and they're adding a second level. This place really got popular. You have to come check it out. It lives up to the height. Look what we got here. We got some radish, cucumber. This, I don't know the name of this. Do you know the name of this? The name is Cactus. Cactus. Then we got some salsas. So that will go well with our El Pastor taco. Then after that, today is, a, is, a, is done. That's it. No more eating. We're both TKO'd horizontal, as my sister said. And, uh, we've gotten the mango juice. Let's test it out. That's good. The two pastor tacos here. So we got a white onion, cilantro, obviously the pork, pineapple. And then obviously all these seasonings. And then of course a lot of lime. All right, let's see that first bite. How's that? That's true happiness right there. These tacos are so good. And this is after that soup too, and Natalie's just absolutely demolishing. Pineapple, best part. Anyway, we're gonna eat this, dig into this, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Oh, hey MTV, welcome to my vacation home, number Num six. No. Number four. Yes. No, number five. Number five. Wow. There's so many rental Where do we properties, start? I can't keep track. This is the bathroom. Here's the toilet, the shower, sink, 
That's all there really is, so let's hop into the next room. The wait, what's this? This is a horrible kitchen that you can't do anything in. The fridge, <laughs> no light. There's no cooking utensils or anything. So now we reach our bedroom and dining room slash living room slash, slash office. Bedroom. I like this part. The couch is super comfortable. And then you have this nice little patio. That was advertised to be clean. Kind of a mess. We don't really use it. As you can tell, there's no seating out there or anything, so it's kind of pointless for us, and the ground is super dirty. This is where we're staying, and we paid $835.94 Canadian for six nights. It's gotten Canadian. more expensive here in Playa del Carmen, that's for sure. But anyway, let's show you some drone footage. That's it for today's video from Playa del Carmen. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one. Traigame, traigame la canela.